come back and finish off that too. Now you want to go all these now. We're gonna have add a style <coughs> to this. You're gonna wanna click border left. And you're gonna wanna make it one pixel. Um solid and I'll just um I think that's black. Let me just put in a let me just insert a row right here real quick. Now if I go and refresh this Oh. Huh. That's not. Did I save this? Oh, I don't know why. Forgot. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um. You need to uh, put your. What you wanted to echo. And. In our case, it's just dollar or the variable row and then message. Now let's try and reload this again. That's not very smart of me. I actually did this wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Order dash left. Oh, I know why. Put the space here instead of here. I guess I was right. There we go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> that's pretty much that because in this one I'll work out um, echoing all that. But uh, that's that so far. Now let's do the poke. Um, hmm. That might be a problem. Ooh. Huh. Let's see. I will. Uh, let's. Will I do that? Well, the thing is, it might not make sense right now because you have to do the first pig. So I'll work. I'll start doing this part. Let's just. I'll do this part in a minute. In a minute, okay. Um. So let's just read all this. And. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep my header information right here. I just have a title. And then I'm calling my jQuery and my JS <coughs> slash thump.js. And also, right above that, you want your include init.php. Now, just make some script tags. And I actually forgot it on this uh, calling in the thump.js. Let me just copy and paste that real quick. Okay. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. So now let's get started on this. Okay. So the first thing you need to do. Um. Okay. Let me make my body real quick. everything. Now we're going to need a place called a div called messages. And you just need to leave that nothing in there. Okay. Um, and you're going to need an input well, I'm going to use a text area actually. Well, I'll just do it with an input now. Either way, it'll work, but 
I'll just give it a type. Name, full name that, message, okay. And we'll name that, um, or uh, we'll make max length equals p to the five. And last equals limit to six. And that'll come in when we're doing the uh, countdown. Okay. Now we're going to. Oh, I forgot our form. Make sure you add an ID, and we're going to name that ID user area. You don't need a name or anything. And value equals. I'm just gonna put quote and end our form. So now let's. Oh, <coughs> now let's check what we have so far. Now this is what we have so far. Push post. It goes and it has this message equals which we'll get to take care of in a minute. Now, <coughs> also you want these both in their own div. And they don't need a name. They're just divs to add some little style to it. Out. There we go. That looks better. Now, um, yeah. Let's just let's start on our JavaScript. So the first thing we're gonna want to do is set this little thing so it doesn't do anything until the document is all the way loaded. There we go. Now, we need to make a variable, and it needs to be called auto refresh, and that's equal to set interval and Wait a sec. We want to go function like that, and we need to go now. Yeah, now we're going. To, this is pretty much it. So now, um, I forgot a little part. Okay, I'm going to uh, end this and come back to it. Wait, no, I'll finish this last little part real quick. Right here is where we're going to load our messages into the messages part. So we have it look like this. Okay, so now we go back in here. Oh. See, it has this because <coughs> it loaded it from our Ajax load file. 
Alright, well, I'm going to end it here, and I will uh, continue this on the next tutorial. Alright, bye.